It definitely does not look the part. Oh, yeah, yeah we could actually keep the headlight. We're good. No. Why not? Because the f Just come through the f signal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for everybody that sent Hot Wheels and I told you guys we were gonna make a massive Hot Wheels collection in the basement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know how you've missed that. I've said it like 500 times. We're building a giant Hot Wheels collection on this wall right here. Obviously, the more of you guys that send Hot Wheels, the better it can be. I was holding off a little bit because there's a store I really wanna go visit when COVID is lifted because right now, where I live, we're on a massive lockdown. Everything is closed. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. And there's a store that has like a bunch of classic Hot Wheels that I really, really, really wanna go pick some from. But at the same time, <laughs> we're working with this right now, boys. If you guys watch the house tour video or you follow me on Instagram you know this actually used to be a wall with like a bedroom in there so there was a closet right here and then obviously a big wall and we just essentially annihilated the wall opened all this up to like extend the hangout area so it could be like a little bit longer deeper whatever you want to call it we're waiting till this is done to paint the basement it's basically done we just have to like box in this little spot that's open um, but we're waiting for this to be done to paint the basement and I don't want to put like a thousand Hot Wheels on the wall and then take them all down just to paint the basement. So we're gonna wait. That's what's taking so long. Well, that and COVID. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I know if I sent Hot Wheels to me, I'd be like, Robbie, what the f are you doing with my Hot Wheels? Aside from the fact that like the uh, the K Pro is in here yet, we're basically gonna be done. Everything here is gonna be done. The car will be ready, basically ready, 95%. So check it out. Let's see what we got here. I told you guys when I ordered that steering rack that it said it came with these. It didn't come with these, and uh, I don't really understand how I was supposed to get them, so I just ordered up some new ones. We got our bung that we needed. This is a bolt-in bung. We got hardware for the intake manifold, we got new couplers, and we got oil feed line kit because our oil feed line kit was pooch. And we got some good packages here too that I didn't even open for you guys yet. I'm gonna go ahead and say we start right here because right now this is held on with just the most random assortment of hardware. So I ordered up some proper studs for it. A lot of people uh, actually don't do studs on this, they do regular bolts. I'm a fan of the studs, so we're gonna make these go. This time it is officially on. Studs, gaskets, gaskets on the turbo, everything is solid. Last time it was just there kind of like for show. For some reason, it was literally cheaper for me to buy this entire thing than it was to just buy the one fitting. So all I needed was this guy right here. Like the oil feed fitting. I ended up getting another gasket, a bag full of feed lines and fittings and stuff. And I got a whole new line. So turbo's fed, now turbo needs to drain. Okay, so if you guys remember, this is what the turbo kit came with. This is like, it's supposed to be basically you drill a little hole and then you just do one of these, you weld it on there, but I can't TIG weld. So I bought one of these, it's literally just like a bolt on. So it's got a little crush washer on both sides. Essentially just crush washer on the inside, squeeze her up, there you go. We'll crank this puppy down and we got an oil drain, boys. <laughs> that actually looks so fire from down here. Okay, oil is fed up to the turbo. Oil drains down from the turbo. The randomest shit just happened. I literally went in to eat lunch Came out, before I started filming again, I started like messing with something so irrelevant on the workbench. So I wasn't filming. And the light just came right off my ceiling and smashed into the car. Like, dude, what happened? It hit like here, it never chipped any of the paint. It didn't, it hit my valve cover, it didn't chip my valve cover. It hit my windshield, it didn't break my windshield. Such a random thing. Honestly, dude, I'm just super thankful it fell on this car, of all the cars. Anyways, check this out. 
This is super fire. I'm so, so pumped about this because this just makes it feel so much more like progressional. Check this out. Ah, we steering lock. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the steering angle on the kit. Steering rack's good, everything's all connected up. The car officially rolls. Now you can actually move it around and like park it, not just move it and then the wheels just get drunk halfway. Anyways, okay, that wasted a lot of my time. That friggin' light coming down. We had some new, new committed crew clothing show up. I was gonna give you guys a sneak peek. I'm not doing that anymore. We've wasted way too much time. We got the turbo oil feed, we got the turbo oil drain. Manifold and turbo are properly gasketed and secured to each other in the engine. Steering rack is connected back up to the steering wheel. Tie rods are on. It's on to the good stuff, boys. The garage is also a disaster, so enjoy my floor unboxing. <laughs> God, look at this sexy beast. Oh my God. So today we got the 72 millimeter uh, K-tuned throttle body. So the, the thing with doing these K-swaps is that these guys actually come electronic. There's no cable spot, but because this EK Civic is cable driven, you need to get one of these guys, which is actually cable driven as well. And this one's supposed to bolt straight up to the RBC manifold, which it does beautifully. Oh. My lord. Okay, so this thing is beautiful. Comes with its own little gasket on the back there. There's a couple more things that I think go along with this before we install it. Hardware here, a throttle position sensor, and we got the K Tune 4 bar map sensor. I believe the map sensor actually goes here on the intake. Beautiful, nice and easy. So then let's throw this, this sensor on, boys, and let's keep making progress. I told you guys in the last video that I needed this piece. It was the only thing that stopped us from actually getting the shifter working when we installed it. So of course, when I had these cape tune parts ordered up, I had to get one of those as well. This one's cool because you can actually move it if you have like the racing cables, shorter, backwards, whatever, you can move it all. Comes with all the hardware, all like the little spacers, depending on the trans you have. Everything is linked up now. So when you shift now, it should just move the cables. It should not pull on that anymore. I also put this guy together. Uh, I just kind of like assembled it by eye and I realized last that this is a map sensor hole. So I put the map sensor up here. I think it would make sense to run the map sensor here, keep the wiring kind of a little bit lower, uh, and then plug this, and then just keep like the top view a little bit more clean. Like this, dude, damn, this actually looks so much better. I think that looks way better, the plug there, and then the actual sensors down here. Now is the part that I have been waiting for ever since we installed the shifter, so I can actually see No way, man. And the longer you extend this boy, the, the, the more it changes. Dude, this is so, so dope. I'm so excited we got to play with this thing. I felt so bad in the video where I installed it because I hate installing stuff when you can't like test it. So you can actually see, even though all these are tight in the bottom, when I go backwards, it still shifts because I didn't tighten down those front ones yet. But dude, like killer, like stiff motion to make this happen. And then just boom, 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 boom. I don't know where reverse is. Boom. Look, look how short this is. Third, fourth. Third, fourth. Feels intense. So I don't want to mess with too much because those front screws are still a little bit loose. But bro, that thing is fire. And I'm super pumped about it. I feel like already, as far as progress, today we've made like a ton. We got the coupler to go on the turbo that we had to special order because uh, it didn't come with it for the intercooler piping and stuff, the eBay turbo case. No good. This, this is a two and a half to a two inch uh, 90 degree like reducer. So essentially all our intercooler piping is two inches, or sorry, all our intercooler piping is two and a half inches. The turbo inlet is two inches and they didn't give us anything to accommodate. So this guy should slink on to here. Hi. Hello, buddy. Are you getting up to today? Dude, 
Honestly, you just gotta look. You'll be pleased. You'll actually be very pleased. <laughs> Buddy, this 90 still doesn't look right. I know. <laughs> it's an elephant trunk. I just got it in there. It still looks a little jammed, but I don't have it like, I don't know. We, I don't know, man. We might end up doing the top. Okay, but besides that, okay, okay, let's see. you were bitching about the throttle body, was listening to you, complain about me not having a throttle body. Look at this. Yeah, dude, that thing looks unreal. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I put this bracket on so you can actually shift now. Yeah. Go give that her shifty. Is that where most people wrote it, you think? Uh, I would assume so. <laughs> it reaches perfectly, so it makes sense to route it that way. <laughs> Look at you, your little clown car. <laughs> oh, man. That's so rigid and nice. Right? It's honestly not that much of a throw either. It's the length of that that gives you the... Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a beauty route, though. And the steering wheel, like, turn the wheel. Oh, oh steering lock. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless though, this sh works, dude. It's That's a good day. Sick. We also got to get a 90 for this. I don't know why we didn't think of that when I ordered the fitting. Oh yeah. Well, we don't need a 90 right away, but we will need a 90 probably. Eh? Yeah, it's ugly. Okay, so a bunch of people tagged me in this after our last video. So the turbo's a little in a different spot, obviously. So we basically, everybody's like, you got to do this. You want to spin the turbo? Yeah, spin the turbo. And because now we changed sizes for this, we got like a bigger one, the three, I think 72 millimeters is like almost three inches. So we, again, we need another coupler because. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> well, I didn't know at the time, I wasn't planning on getting like the big boy. This is what we were looking at last time, right? We can also shorten this because yeah, we can, we can cut this that. reduces. That's what I was just thinking, yeah. Oh, you know what we should have done? What? No, I'm just <laughs> Think we have a plan? The center's good, they're just not the same length, which is w weird. No, yeah, I already noticed that though. If you hold it like this, what the they're not the same length. Welcome to eBay. Where are we even putting this? Oh, uh, here. No. What? Incorrect. So this one is gonna go here. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm pleased with this section. Yeah, I know. You don't like the 90. This the 90 is just. Yeah, I know. What the? Dinner is served. <laughs> That's not bad. It looks kind of like sh But, oh wait, well, let's give our eyes some wonderful eBay ripoff candy to look at. So, functionally, it functions, and visually, it visualizes. Therefore, I believe that we have won. It ain't gonna get much better <laughs> with this eBay setup. <laughs> I'd say we conquered this one pretty good, actually. I say we just clamp everything down. We clamp it all down, make sure it's all 100% solid. Yep. Before we celebrate. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think we were gonna get it this clean. Literally as clean as you're gonna get this eBay kit. Yeah, 100%. That's it. For a kit that's not made for it. Like even Jasmine's looks good because it was thought out. You know what I mean? Someone was like, how is this gonna work? We, like, <laughs> look at, we just found another stupid thing. Where'd you put that intake? Another million things that came in this stupid eBay turbo kit. I just hope people watch this and they realize that at the end of the day, all the money you're gonna spend on top of the eBay turbo kit, you may as well just got a nicer one. That's all I hope people take from this. We're just, <laughs> we're having fun, but I hope people understand. They sent us this freaking filter. It's the same outer diameter as the turbo. So it doesn't go on there. They didn't send us any piping that would fit this. They didn't send us a coupler that's as big as this or a coupler that's as big as that. They really just didn't want us to do much here. Yeah, what'd you pay for, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks good. Even like from a frontal, I think it looks from a frontal good. view, I think it looks pretty good. So we need to order one new coupler here, 72 mil to go onto that. We need a little bit of a reducer. I just kind of have this jammed in there right now just so it looks like <laughs> it's put together. We need a reducer there. And then we need something to get onto that turbo. Probably just another reducer so that we can come get some sort of air intake coming into there. Uh, oh, and we need to order 45. So we kind of cut uh, 45 and it's not the best. I wouldn't run it under boost, <laughs> but it does give us the idea that it will work. So we essentially just cut that piece down. It runs it here. If we get a nice 45 that actually works, 
uh, it should be totally fine. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it does what it needs to do. And once, actually, let me may as well just toss all this stuff back together and get a nice looky at what we've done. Take care of that right now, quick, and then we're done. It. Yeah, just mark it. Then we can get test fitties. This we need to fix. Yeah, I definitely have to fix. Dude, that Inuku is actually wicked. Can they see it on camera? I feel like you can't. Really? I mean, maybe on the computer, like, you can see the piping. We're building such a sleeper right now. I love it. Sick. I love it because it looks so sh right now. Like this looks like the hoopty that I bought. Meanwhile, we've spent like a month just pounding out this front end, and then we just hit everything with like old parts again. And the fenders are all like super wonk. There's like no bolts in the fenders, no bolts in the headlights. Zip ties on the bumper, so it looks a little funny. But yeah, I'm stoked to get this thing on the road. I can't wait to go. Can't wait to roll up to the classic Honda boy, classic WX boy. Anybody. Anybody, and just lay it down. Man. Yo, we should get some license plate that says like, LOL, bye, or something, <laughs> you know? Just so like, just so everybody's like, yo, this guy, he sucks. And then they're gonna pull up on us, and we're just gonna be like, yeah, that'd be sick. It'd be funny, it'd be so funny. But yeah, so now that everything's on too, this pipe looks freaking awesome. Like, you have to really lean in and look deep in the dark to notice that there's a 45 there, which is fine. It's perfectly normal. It just isn't like ideal. But a couple of these ended up in really cool spot. Hey, stay. Uh, in really cool spots, because like right here, I'm gonna put a little L bracket that goes to this clamp so that like this intercooler piping doesn't move, it's like super secured. I'm gonna run some down there to like the foot of where the rod's gonna be. Just a couple things to keep it from wiggling. The BRZ actually came with a bunch, remember? We never used them on the Vortec kit. Maybe we can try and repurpose them. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, like the BRZ was already super solid, but this is not so solid. Yet. I'll leave links as always to all the K Tune parts that I used because you guys know I love the K Tune stuff, so. Tons of new stuff here. Uh, we just gotta do not much, really. Can you film the shifty? I want, I want to shift and see what it actually looks like. Dude, no, nothing's happening. Dude, no, nothing's moving. That's all just that's all just coming from the shifter. That 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 noise and feel. Yeah, I just. <laughs> I was like, there's no way it doesn't move at all. Dude, this is like staying open all by itself. Yeah. That's I, I don't mind that. <laughs> I hit it too hard, okay? I genuinely think it was probably already almost toast, but like it didn't do that when we first took it apart. I think that was me trying to get the ball joint out of the bottom, and like I destroyed my floor just beating it. I'm pretty sure I did that. Probably need, needs a new car. Yeah, we should probably just buy another Civic. Thanks everybody that's helped us with this build. We never finished it. Footage of my light falling before you yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like look up. I'm like, what the? F and then I just kept working. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious, dude.